Friday. But, uh, my wife Annie, she works two days a week in the salon, Mondays and Fridays. But she is typically in the salon today. She's not going in until a little bit later. So I'm going to take care of a couple things. Just realized that I didn't want to turn there. I'm gonna be taking care of a couple things. We just put trail cameras out the other day. I might check them because I'm really curious if there's anything even moving through there. And then Annie goes in about noon today and I will have the boys and we'll be doing some other things. So. Turnips. All right, so I'm walking into this property. It's the new one um, I've got crazy because this dirt road back here I accidentally left my windows cracked <laughs> of course a semi the one time I'm sitting here 9 32 in the morning and there's a freaking semi that goes by and blows dust right into my car so and then my GoPro like froze and did weird things so it's whatever so I'm walking into this uh, this property I've got a big alfalfa field to my left I've got a hillside and some thick cover to my right, this property doesn't really set up all that amazingly, or I should say, I mean, all that well. Um, we've got some plans for food plots next year, but we're too late in the season for that. So I'm kind of going to do a last, last ditch effort. We've got rain coming in tonight. That it's going to come in tonight and this afternoon, or this or tonight and into the, the morning. And so I'm gonna just honestly spread some turnips out over here. The grass doesn't get as thick, so hopefully I can get some good soil contact. And we're just gonna see if these things grow. If they do, awesome. If not, it's a bust. I'm only out a few bucks. And next year we'll do it right. 39 pictures. That doesn't mean any of them are deer. It could be just grass blowing in the wind. Not a whole lot of nothing. So, I mean, it's only been a couple days. Doesn't mean much. We only have two cameras running and they're relatively close to each other. Kind of confirms some of the stuff we already knew that if there are deer around, they're not on this property probably. I'm taking this trailer, loaded down with uh, cabinets and toilets and basically from a bathroom remodel. I always say so. It's kind of like, um, I need to stop. Poop, what are we getting ready to do? Hike. Hike? Yeah. Hi. All right, so for a long time, probably for since Coop was two, I'd bring him over here to this, uh, this walkway by the Bluffs Apartments here in town. It's about a mile or so and we, we walk. I remember the first time he walked this whole thing. It was a hot day, kind of like today. And, uh, and yeah, making memories, right? What do you do when you've got one kid who's probably too small to walk the trail by himself and the other kid who wants to be the line leader the whole time? What do you do with them? Well, you just let them do what they want to do as long as they don't die. He, uh, he finally gave in, decided to let me carry him. Which, to be honest, I'm not complaining though. He, he's heavy. But he probably made it. I was surprised. He probably made it a half mile. It's about halfway around this. Maybe a little bit less than that, but pretty close. So, he definitely, uh, he loves to walk. He's only 16, 17 months old, but he wants to be just like Big Brother. Right, Coop? Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to end this video. We just got done on our walk. Uh, I don't even know how long it took us. Doesn't really matter, right? But we just got done on our walk. And one thing I wanted to say, you know, I, I spend a lot of time with my boys, and, and I love it when Annie get, has to go to work because at the end of the day, I get to to take them out and do things like this. And although it's hot, they love doing it, right, Coop? They love you guys love doing it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, I grew up with a father that was around. Um, he was military, 
but as much as he could be around, he would be around and he would spend time with us. He'd take me camping, he'd take me hunting. You know, I have memories of doing all those things. And, and if I can have that for my boys, if I can do that for my boys where they grow up and have a dad that's around and the, that taught him what it meant to be a man, then, uh, then I'm good with that. I'm good with walking in 90 degree days while the wind's blowing. I'm good with the screaming. I'm good with carrying them on my shoulders. That's just what, it's just what we got to do. Peace out, Girl Scout. Thank you.